with meteorologist Zach Gilday. Certified most accurate by Weather Rate. Check out the Fayetteville Square. Sure looks amazing on this Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all. Hope you had a great meal. Temperatures are feeling a lot like the wintertime already. 35 degrees. That is below last night's low. So if you thought last night was cold, tonight is going to be a lot colder. Dew point 25. The air is drying out. There is still a slight north breeze, but that wind will become calm later on tonight. And with that clear sky, that light breeze, that dry air, perfect combination for a big cool down again lower to mid 30s already seeing some areas at freezing harrison is at 32 fort smith a little bit warmer but still pretty chilly so as we go throughout the overnight northwest arkansas most areas down in the lower 20s that's cold and some areas might even reach the upper teens and then by tomorrow afternoon it stays chilly 40s another freezing night is in store for your friday night even the river valley both tonight and tomorrow look to be sub freezing for those lows those highs in the 50s so a little warmer during the afternoon but still looking um, unseasonably cool for this time of year high pressure in place over over us that is giving us that quiet weather different story to our northeast the uh, New England area has been dealing with a storm system We're currently seeing snow across Vermont New, New Hampshire Maine seeing widespread snow definitely seeing active weather to our northeast but again, for us in the northwest Arkansas area, looking pretty quiet. High pressure has a firm grip on us. Tonight looks clear. Here is tomorrow morning. Clear skies from Missouri down through Arkansas. Saturday looks to be a mainly sunny day. Now, look at what happens into your Saturday. So we have a big football game. Arkansas heading up to Missouri to take on those Tigers. And here's Saturday, 5 a.m. Starting to see some snow working its way in Columbia. That's where that game is. The models have been pretty consistent showing some snow moving into the Columbia area for Saturday. So keep that in mind if you plan on heading up there. You could be dealing with some snow. Then all that should move out later on Saturday during the afternoon so we're gonna have to watch that closely we're gonna be in this cool northwesterly flow looks mainly dry for us notice what happens come midweek so here is Wednesday and Thursday we're kind of back in that southwest flow a storm system off to our southwest that will allow for some moisture and some warmer air to move back into the Arkansas area it could fuel some chances for some rain I did put around a 20% chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday still far out that forecast will likely change but I do think we're going to be seeing some warmer weather moving in as we start December. So especially west of us, you saw that big, uh, that big ridge off to our west. That means a warmer pattern. So definitely we should be seeing the warmer air moving in. Here is tonight's. It's going to be clear. It's going to be cold. Again, 20s for this time of year. We should be in the 30s. So that's well below average for this time of year with that light north breeze. Tomorrow, lots of sun, but despite the sun is going to be staying pretty chilly. We should be in the 40s for most areas for those highs. And here is that seven-day forecast showing a cold front on your Saturday. Again, those uh, winds, they're going to be a tad breezy Saturday with that front. But for us, not expecting precipitation. That looks mainly to our north for the Missouri area. Beyond that, temperatures staying cold. Lows in the 20s, highs in the 40s look common as we start December. But by mid to late week, we're going to be warming back up, back in the 50s and 60s. And for December, I will take that any day of the week. Thanks.